Alrighty, folks. Captain Dave here. I've been working on this project here for the whole week, I guess you could say, split up with some charters in between. And what I'm doing is uh, cleaning up the boat. And what I mean by cleaning up the boat, I'm getting rid of the all the bangs and kind of nicks that were in the coating on the outside of the boat. I had sort of ghosts from where a decal was and all that and a lot of discoloration and the boat was covered in Nihilic or what did the guy call it he called it Nihilic but he pronounced it different I'll say Nihilic and that was half on half off just um not looking too good. Well, here's the end project of three days of green scotch bright pads, a palm sander, xylene, uh, like synthetic material remover slash thinner, a gallon of that, and uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of manual labor, that's for sure. This is what I'm left with. All right. Here's the side of the boat. You can see now this is pretty much bare, bare, okay? This is where some water was just as it dried. You can see some streakiness here. Okay, just some other damp spots and things. I mean, here's just where I bumped into a fender, having to pull up to a, a dock the other day to pick up some people. Just another water stain. I don't know if you can see this little spot here. That was another like bumper that was sticking out of the dock. Uh, the lot of bangs and stuff that I've done myself. Yeah, here's a nice one right here. There's a nice one right there. And a lot of dock rash. Lots of dock rash on the boat also. But you, if I'm hoping that the camera here can pick it up. Just a water streakiness. And see, I did this first down here. And then I did that. I took right here and went down. And then the next time I went from here up doing the scotch brights and everything. And you can see how this is already darkened up. You know? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be half bad. If the entire boat was dark like that, I almost wouldn't really mind. So, um, but what I did is I ended up going and getting, and it just came just now, some Shark Hide Aluminum Cleaner. Uh, I got two quarts of this, and it can be diluted. Okay. It can be diluted, and I got one quart of the shark hide metal protectant. Now a lot of my aluminum brother in there on aluminumalloyboats.com uh, I got a little commentary but not much. This doesn't seem to be a project that anybody is really all that interested in. And probably because it's a lot of work. I started out doing right back here first. This was the whole project first, when I first did all this back in here. Because of course, when you got the Nihilic coating, and if your vents here, I got double vents on my boat, and when your vents burp, there goes gasoline 
and it runs down and runs down in here and next thing you know it burns the Nihilic right off. Nihilic is acid resistant scratch and bang I mean this stuff is uh, like a miracle coating but at the same time uh, it gets burnt by gas. If you take a look see the streakiness now of course I didn't have that when I had all the Nihilic on here. And I'm going to give Shark Hide Metal Protectant a, a shot. I don't know if this is going to be enough to tell you the truth. Probably not. So I'm going to concentrate on the two sides and not worry about the back stern of the boat here right now. Actually, that's not the important part. I'm, going to, I'm worried more about you know protecting it from those water stains and little scuff marks from docks and stuff that I have to pull up on here's the first spray Looking good. A lot of missed streaks. All right, here we go. Looking pretty damn good underneath there now. Looking pretty good. So, uh, we'll see. I marked, I did uh, 25 fluid ounces and did two thirds acid or uh, one third acid, two thirds water. Got my safety glasses. I have enough problems with uh, my eyes. Still looking a little streaky. Alrighty, here we are. Completely all done. She's wet and she's drying off right now. Still, it looks streaky because of the water. But there's the difference. Okay, take a look at the sides of that. I hope you can see it. And now let's go to the other side. And there's the dull other side. Getting ready to do this side. Here's the big deal. That right there took one entire bottle of shark hide. And... I can't even do the stern, the stern, because I won't have enough. So the huge problem is, is actually you'd need about four quarts of shark hide to do a 26 foot Pacific, and that's just the two outsides and just part 
of the stern. So I got a lot of work to do. But there you go. Like I said, it's wet and it's streaky looking, so because uh, it's just so bare. And then I, of course, covered my trailer because I didn't want my trailer getting all spotty. But it'll look cleaner. That's what I'm going for. Alrighty, here's the difference up close and personal. This is them letting it foam. This I haven't touched. This is Scotch Bright and no Nylic. And then you get streaking. Okay. You got to go over it and over it and over it and over it and over it. I think a pump-up sprayer is the way to go to get a finer mist. I think using a bottle sprayer like this, I think this is a waste of time. That's just my personal opinion. And they say to use a bottle like that but I think a pump up sprayer just put a really nice fine mist that thing just won't mist good enough and I think that's causing a bunch of the streaks too so alrighty then the other side over here it's looking pretty crappy right now but I will be clear coating it and then having a transom that's nothing because I got to get more bottles of shark hide aluminum cleaner. Whew. You think I thought two would be good enough. Not even close. Well, anybody who's wanting to do this, this, do the acid wash, um, shark hide on their boat. And you have a 26 foot boat with humongously broad sides on it. Whatever you think you need when it comes to a quart of shark hide, you buy triple that. I've got two. I bought two quarts of shark hide. I diluted it. Uh, a little bit. I did what? Uh, one third shark hide, two thirds water. Okay. And um, I sprayed it on. It foamed its ass off. And I took it down to where I've got almost, I got no shark hide left. I mean, not one drop. And what I still see is streaky areas. A little streaky area up in here. Um, there's just some streaky areas on the boat. This side of the boat is the side that I, it gets beat up the most. So um, this is the side, but over here, now well, you get these streaks or something here from just the water and I mean these streaks I don't know if you can see it but all these streaks in here you know and it must be the the way the Nihilic was or something but um, I'm at the point now where you know, you laugh, you cry, and then you got to live with it. So, I don't have a whole lot of time to be screwing around, and my 
and the budget doesn't allow for a whole lot more screwing around. So I think I'm just going to put the shark hide on and the protectant and go with it. So my tip to you is buy a whole bunch of these sprayers if you're going to use these because these last about an hour with acid running through them and they're even ZEP professional sprayers from the ZEP chemical company with their name on it and <coughs> if I could afford it I would have just as soon bought this in a five gallon bucket okay and then when it comes to this shark hide protectant this probably won't be enough either son of a gun so there you go there's your update I'll be back fishing here in a, tomorrow afternoon <laughs>